everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is coming really hot and that is because we're going to be talking about Colourpop's new collaboration with Becky G Hola Chola. Allegedly they have been accused of stealing Hola Chola from a LA based, I believe LA, clothing company called Hola Chola Inc. And some of Normani's fans have stated that Becky G stole the whole graffiti print from the motivation video as you guys can see to place it on her packaging with Colourpop. Um, I'm going to be straight forward with you guys. I think that is a reach because that has been a look for a while. Like when I mean a while, I mean a while because I used to wear that type of look back in high school and that was like 10 years ago. So to say that Becky G stole it from Normani when Normani didn't create it is ridiculous. Both artists, I can say, were paying an homage to an era where this was a look, this was an aesthetic, and that is that. Like, honestly, I don't really think that Becky G stole it from her because, like I said, it's been around for a while, so <laughs> that is my opinion on that. But the real issue here is the fact that she and Colourpop have been allegedly accused of stealing Ola Chola from Ola Chola Inc., now, it gets really, really murky and shady just because allegedly the owner of Ola Chola Inc. gave a Becky G a jacket from her collection, which means that Becky G, if this is true, Becky G knew of said company, knew that this company had this name, and just blatantly took the name and put it onto her makeup collection with Colourpop, which to me like I said if this is true that is just blatantly wrong because how are you going to take a name a concept well not even a concept just the name in general from a company that is already established by a single mom who created that company with her blood sweat and tears and just put it on to you know your new collection with Colourpop that is like if another makeup company took Forever 21's name and just slapped it onto their makeup. Like, everybody knows who Forever 21 is. It, they know that it is a clothing brand. So for another company to take their name, technically, if that were to happen, Forever 21 could sue based on the fact that a, another company took their name, their company name, and use it on a, di a different product. I hope that like my analogy makes sense to you guys. Like I said, you know, people from that area probably knew already of Ola Chola Inc. and associated that term, that phrase, with that company. So for a bigger company to come and like steal this name that you worked so hard for to build and you know establish it as sort of your own is heartbreaking because like i said it's not that uncommon for bigger companies to take ideas and creations from other creators like you don't really have to go that far it's happened on youtube and it's happened with other makeup companies kylie jenner um it's also happened with james charles who's taken other ideas from other makeup artists and hasn't given them credit and then he gets a blowback stating oh you stole this look from so and so and then he's like oh yes i forgot that i forgot to mention that i got my inspiration from said person go follow them etc but like you know it happens right after the fact that people call them out on it it's not that hard to state hey i got my inspiration from so and so go check them out you know like beforehand before you get called out by people so if this is true if like becky g knew of this company beforehand like you know it wouldn't have been that hard for her to say okay you know like i got my inspiration from my mom back in the day when she used to wear this look and also from ola chola inc you know they have great apparel check them out blah 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 but like i can also see the difference because like one is clothing obviously and one is makeup and even technically, Becky G's collection is completely, the style 
is completely different from Onatrola ink. If you look at Becky G's packaging, which I think is gorgeous, not gonna lie, the aesthetic is different. It's like graffiti print, it has cherries, it's like these pink and like black and like you know like these it's really different whereas if you were to look at Ola Chula Inc their style is very Chicano um, it has a lot of this old English lettering some of the jackets have the Virgen de Guadalupe on it so it's like two completely different concept under like the same phrase and name so like I can see both sides but I don't know like it's just so heartbreaking seeing like both you know like just two entities that come from the same community same heritage just like being torn apart because like twitter and instagram were going off like when i mean people were pissed they were pissed and they were dragging becky g and color pop like through the mud calling her a culture vulture a thief unoriginal like like you guys will see with all the screenshots i'm gonna be posting around here like she was getting dragged for this and you know not for nothing like okay like if if she really did know about this then like i said it was it would be pretty shady um but even in the midst of this whole entire mess becky g did come out with an ig post stating oh i talked out talked it out with ola chola and like they made, she made it seem like they had like a mutual understanding and like they just talked it out and you know the beef was done or whatever but now people are coming out and stating that Ola Chola Inc is a clout chaser because she keeps posting on her IG stories people's posts of saying go support Ola Chola Inc she's the real Ola Chola she's the OG etc so like people are saying now that she's a clout chaser because obviously becky g gave her a shout out on her ig and she's not letting it go but like i could understand like i said where she's coming from like you know she created this company and for somebody to come and just take that name and make it not even known but just like just steal something from you is, is just wrong so like i get it i get it <laughs> And here's the thing, like, I haven't seen many people talking about it on YouTube, like, okay, yes, on Twitter and on Instagram, you know, like, doing the whole dragging and canceling and all that good stuff. But on YouTube specifically, I haven't really seen it. Like, it's just been big YouTubers like Daisy Marquez, Alan Eyes, I think, Brittany Bear Makeup, I think that's her name. All these people have just been posting looks or swatches of lipsticks and a makeup palette. But they haven't really addressed it so i don't know if they are just trying to stay away from the drama or they don't really know what's going on you know with the whole collection but there's only been like two youtubers who have addressed it and i'm gonna butcher their names i am so sorry you guys but one of them is Skele skeleton tim i think that's his name I will put it right on the screen for you guys. I'm so sorry. And the other one, I think her name is Mary, Mary Giacomo, Giacomo, something like that. Again, I will leave their names right on the screen for you guys so you guys can go check out their videos because I think they're pretty cool. And if you are Spanish speaking, then you will want to see um, Mary Giacomo because she does the whole video in Espanol. So, yeah. I don't know you guys i want to know your opinion about this do you think becky g really stole the concept of ola chola from ola chola inc do you guys really think that she stole the concept from normani let me know in the comment sections below i hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you did give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because i forgot to mention this but i did purchase the collection I, I really love the packaging I love the look and it did bring back memories so yeah I purchased it and I will most likely be doing a review for it so stay tuned and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>